Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Katie and I make book related videos every single Wednesday and today I am so excited because you guys know I love thrillers, I love being freaked out, and I love Kristen Ritter. So today I'm going to be reviewing, spoiler free as always, Bonfire by Kristen Ritter. And if that name sounds familiar, I'm sure you guys know her from my personal favorite show of all time, Breaking Bad, or maybe Jessica Jones, Gilmore Girls, everything like that. And I do want to point out that although I was sent this for review, this isn't a sponsored video, and you guys know I'm always honest, I'm going to say what I really enjoyed about this and also what I didn't like. Our protagonist of this book is Abby Williams, she's from a very small town in Indiana. Anna. And while she was growing up there, in high school in particular, she was horrifically bullied. Picture just like that movie Heathers but on steroids. Very, very horrific. Now she's older, she lives in Chicago, she's, what was it specifically, I think like an environmental lawyer, and a case, not surprisingly, brings her back to her small town where this company called Optimal has brought a ton of money and opportunity to the area, a ton of people who live there work there, and she's there to investigate because there are concerns that Optimal is polluting the area and therefore negatively impacting the people who live there. So, so she's investigating that as well as the disappearance of her former friend who was also like the head of the clique that bullied her when she was in high school. So as always I'm gonna get into the pros and the cons again no spoilers but in terms of what I really enjoyed this just ticked off really most of the boxes for me for what I love in a thriller. It was also just exactly what I needed and that this is around 275 pages I would say. You guys know I haven't read a book in well over a month. It's been a while so this is the perfect book to get me just thrown back onto the reading train. And one thing I also really appreciated about this is it doesn't hold back in the sense when it's really gritty or I wouldn't call this book creepy, that's not the right word, but there are moments where you feel like you've been punched in the stomach because something really traumatic happens. And I kind of was wondering because, and this is something I'll get into in a second, but it's the first time I've read a book where I've recognized the author, at least I think this is the first time I've read a fiction book where I recognize the author from movies and TV shows. And, and I was kind of concerned going into this that it might be kind of a fluffy, light thriller, you know, where, where it's advertised as a thriller, but nothing really awful actually happens. And there's a lot of terrible, horrifying things that happen in this book, which for some of you might not sound like a great thing, although if you're watching my channel, that probably is what you look for often when you read thrillers. But, but so I was just really happy that this book did not hold back. I also loved, some of you guys might know this who've watched my channel for a while, I love books that just vacillate forward and back in time. For example, Dark Places by Gillian Flynn, and this vacillates really, really fluidly between the past when she's in high school and being horribly bullied and when she's investigating into this town and into Optimal in the present. And even though, like, this general plot line of a woman, you know, who has a troubled past and she's going back to her hometown because something leads her there, I will admit that that is a common sort of stereotypical even book plot at its core, but this book, but but really the only time I felt like that was maybe reading the inside flap. When you're actually reading the book, I thought it felt very unique and fresh. And before I get into the thing I didn't like about this book, I will just say, I touched on this earlier, it was interesting reading this, just knowing that it came from Kristen Rudder's mind. Considering, for example, I'd have moments like, it mentioned that the female protagonist, Abby Williams, is 5'9", and, and, and I remember that Kristen Ritter is also 5'9", and I'm not saying that because because I'm like a creepy stalker who knows a lot about Kristen Ritter. I actually don't know that much about her. I just remember going through one of those things where it was like, what celebrity is the same height as you? Because I'm 5'9", so I just remember that she also is. There were like very specific instances like that throughout the book where if this were a movie, I could definitely see Kristen Ritter playing the protagonist. But now getting into cons, and I really just have one, but it is one that carried itself throughout the whole book. And that is the fact that although yes, this is a very fast paced book, and I'm happy that it was. I wish there was a way to keep it fast paced, but also just add a little bit more information, a little bit more description. And I know you guys might be saying that's hypocritical, you can't have it both ways, you can't have lyrical description flowing off the pages and have it be super fast paced. But I do think there is a balance and I think that this book, although I really liked it and missed the mark on that a little bit, it just felt like, and I'm not even talking about cliffhangers, it's not that, it just it felt, just felt sometimes that like the chapters needed a little bit more information and description to them. So, so really that was my only main critique of the book. So overall I would say if you like fast paced thrillers, I think you're going to enjoy this, but keep in mind that it is very, very fast paced. So if you need tons of world building and description, this might not be for you, but I really loved it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Bonfire by Kristen Ritter. Please let me know what thrillers you really love down below, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. 